CIA facility. One is that uh, the CIA director was shot and killed. I actually said that, a, if you remember, that a leading uh, manager, uh, station manager, was wounded. I couldn't at that time, I wasn't authorised, shall we say, at that time to tell you who that was. Um, but it's absolutely true that the CIA director was in the Frankfurt facility. What on earth was the head of the CIA doing off American soil in a building containing Dominion servers? Uh, and I can tell you that they were trying to shred every document, remove everything. But the good guys, that's the 305 Battalion and other units as well, uh, were totally aware that the CIA director was there and the raid was done deliberately to catch that person red-handed. The reason that five uh, uh, American patriots uh, were killed in the operation was because the bodyguard around the CIA director basically fought. Everybody else just sort of gave up. But the bodyguard around the director fought, and that's what occurred. So there are two versions now that she's uh, dead, uh, or she's, you know, went to, to Guantanamo Bay. What I want to tell you is that she's not dead. That's a cover story. I don't think I'm going to be in trouble for telling you that. That's the truth. But that's a cover story placed up a bit like Jeffrey Epstein, really. Um, what happened was that when she was wounded, not severely, taken to Guantanamo Bay, but en route to Guantanamo Bay, uh, she decided that she wanted to work for the good guys, and she literally sang like a canary. That's how it's been told to me. Those are the words used. In other words, that she's given the all of the information she has to the White Hats. She didn't even get to Guantanamo Bay. The, the airplane turned back, um, and the, the deal that's been cut is that she will be quietly forgotten, quietly removed, new name, new, new details, etc., etc., that's not to say at some future date, uh, you know, one side or the other might change their mind on that. But at the moment, that is the deal that's been done. That just leaves the FBI. And I think that the FBI will fall into line now. If you know that the director of the CIA was shot by American military, has then turned her back on the deep state and has provided a great deal of information, I think if you're in the FBI, you... you do what you need to do. That is why I think that the FBI are much more likely to start doing indictments for the Bidens. Um, I mentioned that I was quite careful on that because nobody else had been given that information. And some of you people uh, who have not been very polite to me uh, saying, how does he know this stuff? Look, just because I'm British doesn't mean I don't know what's happening. Okay. Uh, and I've been offered a job in America that must tell you something. Um, and I am getting my information from uh, American intelligence. American intelligence doesn't just mean the CIA and the FBI. There's a whole range of other patriot intelligence organizations that are, are active in the US. And indeed, it is those uh, those groups now that are in the ascendancy. It's those groups which are calling the shots quite literally. And when the report was given to President Trump, I'm going to just give you the detail of, of the, the level of quality of information that I have, that when uh, it was reported to President Trump that five of these uh, very brave people had died in the operation at Frankfurt, um, he knew most of them personally, and he was incredibly uh, moved and upset and uh, Melania, the First Lady, uh, consoled him very much. It was a very difficult uh, time when two military people came and told him what had happened, that they'd got all the software, they'd captured a lot of people, um, but there'd been these five, five losses, and he was, he was deeply moved, and, and the Salem can be uh, rehabilitated, brought back, some of them can never be rehabilitated, but all of them have a story to tell, all of them have information to tell, um, all of them have acted in a treasonous way, and um, when you act in a treasonous way, you should expect 
the, the, the greatest penalties, unless you can cut a deal. I know a lot of us don't like deal making, but the president is up against a time scale here and uh, would like as much information as possible. And so, you know, they will cut deals if it can help them to uh, short circuit the, the, the time frame that we've got here. So that was it really, just wanted to, to, to give you the point that, that the CIA director is working now with the White Hats. Oh, she's been sacked. Uh, Trump has sacked her from the position. Don't expect a replacement at the moment, going to keep that open. Um, if you take the head off the snake, then you have to check the rest of the body, and when the rest of the body's good, you can put the head back on it, can't you? So there we are, That that's it. So those of you who have... ago this morning he tweeted out we won Michigan by a lot so if you don't know what's going on Donald Trump and his team they held a public hearing they had witnesses it was crazy today so many people came out there was yelling there was screaming there was laughing there was banter so many people came out with so much evidence at the hearing from Michigan Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. What happened? Well, there was a Dominion contractor who said this woman, Melissa Carone, she is a Dominion contractor. She came out and said that she was working at the polls and she saw ballots being counted eight times, ten times for Joe Biden alone. And there was other people who said that they're switching ballots from, from Donald Trump to Joe Biden and there wasn't any Republicans in the poll stations and they're being a str There's so much that happened. As you can see here, Donald Trump tweeted out so much. Look at all this evidence, so much evidence. But yeah, Melissa Carone, she's the woman who talked about all this Dominion stuff. Anyways, absolutely crazy. Michigan, if we take a look at our map, we can see that's 16 votes for Michigan. As of today, December 31st, this is our map. 16 votes will put Trump to 248 plus Georgia right there. That's putting Trump at 264 plus, guys. Pennsylvania, head to the Supreme Court. That's 20 more votes and potentially even in California. You guys saw my video that I made the other day. But all the voter fraud going on in California it could even spark new lawsuit or investigation. So California's 55 votes literally could put Joe Biden under 200 and Donald Trump way over 300. So that's what we have today. We stay with what we're talking about here. And to be more genteel and even handed and nice about it. No. These people were colluding together to steal the election because they would, couldn't win it fair and square. The American people are not behind them on this stuff. That's what it's all about. The American people have gone a different direction. And now they're trying to do everything they can to hold that ground uh, illegitimately. So no, we're not backing down. We're not going to let them just have it. We're not going to let the media browbeat us. Well, you got to accept Joe, and he's made all of these cabinet appointments and everything else, and so you just got to go along with it, you know, just accept defeat. Fuck you. Not accepting anything. Cooked vote's a cooked vote. You scrambled this election, and we're going to do what we have to do to put a stop to it, cease, go back to whatever the Constitution allows us to do, and uh, take control of our country back and throw a bunch of people in jail so we can get back to honest elections, uh, a real discourse between citizens. That's the other thing. See, we can't get to an honest conversation because their buddies that run Facebook and Twitter uh, just called other uh, equipment from other locations to bring in and support that just in the last couple of weeks. Right. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to give anything away, but... It's not exactly unknown. It's not like the Chinese can't see. Well, no, somebody's propagandizing you. Correct. Okay? That's a military operation. 
You're being propagandized in a military operation, a PSYOP. And you're just going to say, and, and here I am talking to a flag officer, and he's buying into the PSYOP? Get your fucking head out of your ass. Pay attention to what's going on here and get on the right side of the fight. And say no and hell no. Not just behind the curtain somewhere amongst a couple of friends. Say it right there amongst all the guys that look up to you. That look to you for leadership. And say what the fuck has to be said. Come on. This is not a playtime thing. This is not just a debate in high school. This is for the whole world. Yes, it is. Okay? Do you realize we have we have two aircraft carrier battle groups operating off the coast of China and India right now. We just called other uh, equipment from other locations to bring in and support that just in the last couple of weeks. Right. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to give anything away, but... It's not exactly unknown. It's not like the Chinese can't see we're moving more stuff over there. Why? Because who was orchestrating this behind the scenes? It was China. China. Come on, man. They thought they were going to give us a one, two, three punch. They're going to flood I mean, the country with look, look, drugs. They're yep. going to flood the country with, with the COVID. And then they're going to come in there and we're going to have a disputed election. They're going to get their guy in play. Yep. They're, they're trying to manage and manipulate us and damage our economy. We're in a type of war by other means. Yeah. This isn't playtime. And the president is not doing a disservice to anybody by not agreeing to step down on January 19th or sooner. Could you believe this fucking hack over here in the media group? Well, Mr. President, shouldn't you just walk out of here right now and, and just, you know, turn over the whole thing to Biden for his people to move in? Doesn't even understand how the Constitution works. Come on, man. Yeah. Shit. You and know, it, it, I, it, I, I, I just, I, I'm so pissed off that we got people that are, that violence. don't get it. Yep, spineless. And, and they don't me, get it. They're a bunch of nutless let me wonders. Just add this. The, listen, <clears throat> you got one of the things that was said uh, in some of the conversations yesterday. Well, but you know, you're talking about moving the country to civil war, and it's it's going to be so scary, and we're going to have a civil war. Are you kidding me? Seriously, do you understand? We're not in a civil war. We're in a revolutionary war. Somebody Man. outside the country is trying to take control of us. And they got a few cohorts here inside the wall that are cooperating with them. Okay? This is a revolution. It's not a civil war. These are outside instigators. Bought off people. This, this war is being brought on us externally by external forces. And there's collaborators here. But we're not going to fight each other. I'm not going to fight my brothers. I'm not going to fight women that, you know, helped raise us. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to join, join forces, close ranks with them, shoulder to shoulder. We're going to march these people right back into the ocean. This is about taking your country back. It's about taking control of the bridge, getting the direction so the ship isn't headed for the rocks. Right. We're in the fucking storm. Yeah. Turn the ship around before you hit the rocks. Come on, man. Juan, recently it was disclosed that Vice President Dementia himself, Mr. Dementia himself, Joe Biden, was playing with his dog. His German Shepherd Major. And he had a hairline fracture. Now he's wearing a boot. A boot that looks very similar to a boot that a certain John McInsane used to wear before he dropped dead. And now it's also coincidentally funny that Cindy McCain is also wearing a boot. And it's also kind of funny that Cindy McCain, because of the operations that she ran out of Arizona that's connected to all the voter fraud, has been tapped by the uh, the president elect D Dement Mr. Dementia himself to become what the ambassador to England. Her reward. We well, know the 
we know the crown agents are behind this. Well, what's your take on the boot and the background of the City of London Corporation? Well, let me just say this. You know, all of the attack on President Trump before the 2016 election was even completed and ever since related to that stupid dossier, right. which uh, McCain's little boy Creamer brought back and, and passed around and handed around. Remember, who orchestrated that? Uh, fucking Brits. Right. That's Halper. Remember, Halper's the unindicted co-conspirator from Iran Contra. Uh, he was the money side when uh, Ollie and and Fawn Hall were. You know, she's hiding the papers and her boots and her bra, and uh, he's running the shredder and and disintegrator uh, full time down there in the basement of the White House. Well, the money, the banking, is the part that never came out during Iran Contra. And Halper was the guy that was handling that. So he gets a pass. Because he gets a pass, he's still out there, able to roam around. He's a torpedo with no safeties on it. And he goes for the next target. All of a sudden, here we are, you know, three decades later, he's still floating around. Now he's going after uh, Trump. He's part of the whole thing to take out Trump. He was being paid by DOD money. He's in the, somebody else's pocket. He comes up with the James Bond secret scam plan. He has U.S. and British citizenship. Uh, his scam plan to, to create this fake dossier and pass it around. And, and even the, the stuff going after uh, Flynn and, and Papadopoulos. Uh, all of that stuff's being orchestrated out of Cambridge and with dear love and all these Brit agents, mm. provocateurs fucking around with our elections, our system, our president, all of this time that was lost over the last four years playing around with this dossier bullshit, okay? These are foreign agents. And then you're going to put Cindy McCain over there in England as a reward to help coordinate this stuff? And by the way, where, where was Gina Haspel station chief at? Uh, hello, duh, excuse me. This is collusion between this MI6 crowd and the CIA crowd behind the scenes, the, the deep state people that are globalists. Okay, City of London. All the major banks operate from that one square mile. Right. Okay, so we're in a type of economic war. We're having to operate on multiple fronts. I have total respect for the ability of President Trump to manage, to comprehend, to maintain uh, a presence of mind while we're being attacked economically, politically, and militarily all at the same time. And then, by the way, there's the science side. There's so much going on behind the scenes that people have no concept about the threats against the country. And uh, uh, we're having to, you know, maintain on all those fronts simultaneously. And then we got people internally here who aren't on the right side of the fight, who don't understand the magnitude of the threat against us. And then it's, well, we should just roll over and let the bad guys win. That is cooked mentally. That is that. Those are people who are brainwashed. Correct. They've bought the propaganda. This is not the time to be that person. And if you're supposedly a leader of men, and you're in a command position, and people still look up to you, you need to stand up straight, pull your shorts on tighter, tie your shoelaces a little squarer. Get your belt adjusted, get your shirt tucked in, and get in this fucking fight. Absolutely. Stop walking around acting like you're headed to the next golf. Juan, last but not least, I don't, I don't know if you could uh, comment on this or not. Um, was Haspel in Frankfurt? Uh, you, you don't have to comment on it if you, if you don't want to. Let's, let's just leave that for, for future. Look, there's a lot more going on here than people understand. Yeah. And uh, just because uh, 
you can't um, focus on just, just one small piece of what's going on here. It's a lot wider. There's a lot more involved, a lot more locations. It's bigger than just one person or somebody stepping in front of a bullet because they think they're doing the right thing. Uh, easy. But it has to be done. Right. This is that moment. We have to find out how come these people were so easily able to sift in these totally crooked voting systems in you know, 30 states. How did they pull it off so easily? Who's getting greased where? Who's getting paid where? Oh, and by the Kent, way, definitely in, in Nevada, turns out the Secretary of State, a lot of the money that helped her uh, get elected came out of Dominion. Ah, okay. That's been that's been out there. Uh, I believe uh, today it's been discussed. So again, who's paying off who? Who's who's pushing whose election? And then what's what's the res the uh, reciprocating uh, side of that? So come on, man. Uh, overall, you want a fair vote? Okay. Well, it didn't happen this time, and it's not going to. So again, who's paying off who? Who's who's pushing whose election? And then what's what's the res the uh, reciprocating uh, side of that? So come on, man. We're not rolling over for nothing. This is, yeah, one shot. It's a golden gift. It's like a divinely given moment to expose the corruption once and for all. You want a fair vote? Okay. Well, it didn't happen this time. and It's not going to get to happen by just stepping down. We'll get a fair vote maybe the next time because it's so painful. See, that's part of the point. Rather than resolve this quickly like it's a TV series, if this has to get more and more dramatic, that means more people are paying attention. This this should get so intense. Let the politicians get away with whatever. You have to take, rather than resolve this quickly like it's a TV series. If this has to get more and more dramatic, that means more people are paying attention. This This should get so intense that People will never let it happen again. You can't be the gas station attendant or the governor and look the other way. And you can't be a, a flag officer or a general staff and just say, well, yeah, we just got to let the politicians get away with whatever. You have to take a side. And that goes for every single American. You're going to have to pick a side in this. And you're going to have to decide, right or wrong, left or right, good or evil. But you're not going to be allowed to just sit on the fence and just be an observer. This has to become that much more intense. And it's, it's healthy. Yes. Okay? It's healthy to have to turn your brain on, come out of the daze, get over the drunk, and actually figure out what's going on here. Before we crash into the freaking uh, rocks with the ship. Right. I'm sorry, the Declaration of Independence. I got a long day, lack of coffee, maybe too much coffee. But it says that when there's when that when when the government that's been formed no longer serves the people, it is the people's right to tear the damn thing down. And I think this is a way for the American people, re-energized. And, and totally enervated by the spirit of patriotism, by the spirit of 1776, to tear down this monolithic, corrupt, techno-dictatorship and replace it, replace this parasite with what the founders envisioned. What's your take, Juan? Well, uh, I...